Hello there. I'm Reverend Wilma with the online Swedenborgian community. You can find us anytime there at www.swedenborgiancommunity.org. And I'm delighted to be here with you today and to have an opportunity to share with you some of the very beautiful aspects of Christmas and the birth of Jesus. I'm going to read first from the Bible. This is from Luke 2. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people today. In the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. And I'd like to read now from Swedenborg, and this is from True Christianity, number 89. Now, because God came down, and because he is the design, there was no other way for him to become an actual human being than to be conceived, to be carried in the womb, to be born, to be brought up, and to acquire more and more knowledge so as to become intelligent and wise. Therefore, in his human manifestation, he was an infant like any infant, a child like any child, and so on, with one difference. He completed the process more quickly, more fully, and more perfectly than the rest of us do. He grew up more quickly, more fully, and more perfectly than the rest of us do. Swedenborg wrote a lot of things about the birth of Jesus. One of the things he tells us is that it was very significant that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. And he writes, this signifies in place thereof the resurrection of the new spiritual of the celestial. So to Swedenborg, there was some deep meaning there um, about the birth being so important and, and such a new start for the world. And he also says the, the reason why the Lord was born there and not elsewhere is that he alone was born a spiritual, celestial man, but others natural, with the capacity or ability to become either celestial or spiritual by regeneration from the Lord. The reason why the Lord was born a spiritual, celestial man was that he might make his divine human. And this, according to order, from the lowest degree to the highest, and might thus dispose into order all things in the heavens and in the hells. So he's telling us that Jesus came in the world to bring order to the heavens and to the hells. And he's very clear that the Lord is, in fact, the source of light. He writes, as for the source itself of light, this from eternity has existed from the Lord alone. For divine good itself and divine truth itself, the source of light is the Lord. The divine human which existed from eternity was that actual light. But he says that light was unable any longer to influence the human race which had retreated so far from good and truth and from the light, cast itself into darkness. So the Lord chose to be born as a human to bring the light to the world because, as Swedenborg says so many times, the Lord is the light. And on Christmas morning, we are celebrating 
the birth of the light coming back into the darkness of our world. And Swedenborg says more than just that the light's coming into the world. He also says this, the coming of the Lord is not according to the letter that he would again appear in the world, but it is his presence in each one which takes place as often as the gospel is reached and its holiness is thought about. So Swedenborg tells us that this light is not just in the world, but also in our hearts. This light is inside of each one of us. And so as you think about Christmas Eve and Christmas morning, think about what light is being reborn in you this season what inside of you is going to be lit by this beautiful light to shine throughout the world we all have a light inside of us and we are celebrating the birth of that light at Christmas may you find the light that is in you and share it in the world thank you for joining me Peace be with you.